spraying factories are a concept for the off-site manufacturing and industrialization of construction projects using temporary and flexible factories while applying lean principles to the manufacturing process. For phase one of the Battersea Power Station site redevelopment, Skanska manufactured 540 utility cupboards, as pictured, in a flying factory, and constructed another 300 on site. The on site construction was driven by site constraints, but provided good data on the comparison of the two techniques. Compared with on site fabrication and traditional methods of construction, the following savings were made 44% reduction in cost. 73% reduction in quality or rework defects, 60% reduction in time. So now you should know a little Designed by Brydenwood on behalf of Circle Health, the building makes extensive use of design for manufacture, helping to reduce embodied energy, construction time by 20% and cost by 28%. In addition, nearly 80% of the building was delivered using a standardised kit of parts that includes superstructure, MEP plant and distribution, plus internal fit-out. Brydenwood used the project to develop a set of processes, components and standard construction techniques that allow Circle to create high-quality, iconic, site-specific facilities across their rollout while harnessing the benefits of DFMA. Designed by Rural Design, the R House has been conceived as an affordable and simple solution to housing in the highlands and islands of Scotland. DFMA and modular construction techniques are not just the preserve of large-scale projects and leading design teams. The Scottish housing market has a strong tradition of the use of wood and the building of homes in factories. Here's an excellent design-led example from R House in the Isle of Skye. Great designs, local materials utilising factory construction that is safer, cleaner and allows work in all weather. This ensures swift production and fixed cost pricing. Through this process, architects' rural design deliver the following benefits. 90% reduction in manufacturing waste, noise and disruption to neighbours of the development site is greatly reduced, build quality is greatly improved, speedy erection of buildings once delivered to site, high thermal and acoustic insulation, responsibly sourced materials FSC approved, reduced carbon emissions due to better energy performance and fewer deliveries. To prove that the use of off-site techniques, standardisation and just-in-time logistics is not new, back in 1930 the Art Deco masterpiece that is the Empire State Building was built in just 13 months. Architects Shreve, Lamb and Harmon used a standardised steel frame design, together with standardised logistics for bricks and tiles to reduce logistics to site, and returnable containers for delivering floor packs enabled four and a half storeys to be completed every week, and President Hoover to open the building on the 1st of May 1931. In terms of bespoke facade, unitised design and installation, the Library of Birmingham is a model example of what can be achieved when visionary architects work in close partnership with experienced envelope specialists to create an iconic and landmark building in a major city. From the early conceptual stages, world-renowned architects Mikanu worked together with main contractor Carillion and market-leading facade provider Lindner Facades. The unique and spectacular external aluminium circular frieze was designed and fabricated off-site by Lindner Facades and installed in large sections to maintain the same factory-produced quality standards of the unitised curtain wall which it so eloquently veils. The Dutch Energy Sprong project is an initiative to retrofit social housing, much of it built in the 1960s and 70s in Holland with improved insulation to improve energy performance. The project illustrates how DFMA techniques can be utilised on our current stock, not just on new build. Energy Sprung involves the following steps. All publicly or housing association owned properties in the street are surveyed. Panels for each property are custom made in an off-site factory. All windows, doors and associated services are pre-fitted into panels in the factory. Each refurbishment also includes a services module which includes intelligent management of heat and power, including renewable energy where possible. 
panels delivered to site and slotted into place on site. Each renovation is completed within one week without the need for occupants to move out. Energy Sprong developments are designed to eradicate fuel poverty and helping to regenerate neighbourhoods in need of investment. British Land's Cheese Grater, or, to give it its proper name, the Leadenhall Building, dominates the City of London skyline. Designed by Rogers Sturk Harbour and Partners, 80% of the Leadenhall Building was constructed off-site, using Lang O'Rourke's DFMA approach and off-site manufacturing capabilities. The DFMA approach emphasised eliminating waste at source through efficient procurement, design, manufacturing and engineering methodologies. This approach increased the quality of materials and installation, reduced site waste and reduced overall deliveries to site by 50%, avoiding air pollution and congestion in central London.